What's going on everybody? This is Colton coming to you from the chalkboard and it's the first Monday of November getting into the holiday season. Hope everyone had an amazing Halloween. I hope everyone's getting good plans ready for uh, Thanksgiving and I don't know about you guys but I'm super pumped for Christmas. I got tons of stuff planned for me and Heather and the families and everything and it should be it should be amazing. Let's also talk about this. November is men's mental health, uh, mental health month. That is what November is. There you go. You got no drink November. You got no nut November. You got men's mental health November. So uh, that's a real thing. It's not just me making it up. But, you know, remember that, guys, all November, you're not alone out there. There's tons of men out there, more than there should be, that are battling with mental health. And there's plenty of resources out there for you guys to go and talk to somebody. Preferably, I like to talk to another guy. Um, guys get guys better. Girls get girls better. There you go. You know, I got my meetings and stuff that I go to. Actually, we're starting the PRA, Portage Recovery Association podcast. So the PRP, the Portage Recovery Podcast. We're filming that bitch tonight. That is the first one. We were supposed to film it Friday and then Saturday, but some complications came up. So then we ended up just filming, or we're supposed to film it Friday, then Sunday. Then some complications came up. And we had a suicide in the area. And uh, Jake, the other guy, who's actually the president of the Portage Recovery Association, Jake is, um, oh, I went to a memorial thing for that. So, um, we got that, that's starting tonight, which is going to be awesome. And I, I'm, I'm very much so looking forward to starting this pod, uh, podcast. We're going to get interviews and a uh, tons of long-term recovery and sobriety on there. And because this is just a, that, that is just going to be a podcast of just recovery, whether in my opinion, it be mental health. Um, which is something we're going to be touching on, um, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, anything like that. Um, but specifically for this month, I think we're doing our introduction tonight and me and him are going to touch on men's mental health because it is uh, men's mental health month being that it is November. So guys, if you guys got any goals out there, like you're not going to drink. I know my cousin Mitch does no drink November. My cousin Dakota does no drink November. Um, stay on those goals. Don't, don't let them fail because then you will feel defeated and there's nothing worse than feeling defeated. So let's just keep on our shit. Anybody needs anything, just remember to reach out. There's nothing worse than a guy who thinks he's too strong of a man to say, I need help. And uh, I was one of those guys for a long time and I still am. You know, I just know how to do it a little bit more than I used to kind of thing. So, but hey, it's fucking November as... The legend Joey Diaz says, it's goddamn Monday. Let's get out. Uh, <laughs> what does he say? It's fucking Monday, cocksuckers. Let's <laughs> grab your fucking balls <laughs> and get the fuck out there and show them who the fuck it is. Don't let failure discourage you guys. It's one thing that has kept me from doing what I want to do and making videos and doing that is failure and disappointment and purpose. There we go. That, that's pretty spot on. I feel like a lot of people deal with what is my purpose in life? You know, what am I doing? I'm just going to work every day. And I'm just paying bills and I'm just going home to my fucking apartment or my goddamn house or whatever it is. And That's it, you know? That's it. And a lot of people find purpose in families and kids and stuff. But there's a lot of guys out there like me. I ain't got kids. I ain't ready to have kids. I ain't purpose of my own life, let alone purpose of the purpose of some little ones. Fuck that. I'm not ready yet. You know, I'm still smoking cigarettes. I need to stop. I need to. But hey, I don't I don't drink and I don't, you know. So, but yeah, no purpose. What's my purpose? It's a good question. I think it's healthy to know that you're not going to know for a long time. 
I heard a guy speaking and he said that to think that you're going to have it all together in your 20s or 30s, by the time you're 30, is a pipe dream. Because you're not. He's this real old dude on TikTok I listen to. He's a cowboy. He sits in his chair. He crosses his leg. And um, <clears throat> he just talks about wisdom. And he even said his him and his wife still ain't got it together. And they're fucking, they've been married 40 years. You know? So I think in my case, I don't know about everybody else's, but in my case, I want to be perfect. And I want what I do to be perfect and I want everyone to watch it and think that it's perfect and I want everybody to like it and I want everyone to feel something from it but I know that I'm not going to release everything perfect I'm not going to make everyone think my videos are perfect or what I'm doing is perfect or what I want to do in life is perfect or anything about it so I need to remember back on my old inspirational videos I talked about being okay with just one person seeing my video and f getting a smile from it. And I still am. That's not what I mean by perfect or wanting everybody to like it. You know, I still am. I have a video on there that has maybe five comments and it's a couple dudes saying thank you or hey, I needed to hear this or something. And it does make me smile because someone took what I said and it helped their day out or it made their minute or it made their hour or their next four hours or next six or so on, you know, could have made their fucking week. I don't know. So, and, and that's, that's my main point, you know, like, it's not going to be so perfect to where everybody's feeling the same way you feel or I feel about it. Excuse me, not you, I, because nobody probably should. You know what I mean? Like the chalkboard is my dream and my baby and my thing that I need to be nourishing and stuff like that. And everyone else will just see it when it comes. You know, think of it as like me being an infant. When I was an infant, everyone just looked at me like every other baby. It's just some fucking ugly little cute baby sitting there, you know. Like the words of fucking <coughs> Ricky Bobby. Nine pound, eight ounce. <laughs> infant baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man. He has a beard. So I'm going to stop. You know, I was talking to Heather, and the reason I haven't done it in my podcast setup yet, I have a new podcast setup area. Set up. Heather set, set it up for me. It looks awesome because she's really pushing me to get back into the YouTube and the podcasting because that's what I want to do, and it makes me happy, to be honest little selfish thing about it. This makes me happy. This makes my day. I'm sitting here doing this at nine. What is it like? Nine thirty or ten o'clock, and this is making my day. So, but yeah, I'm gonna be producing more probably once every day, whether it be in a nice setup or just on my phone like this. And I hope it does really well. And. touches a couple people's hearts i don't know you know that's the best i can ask for same with the portage recovery podcast that i'm going to be doing with jake you know the best we can ask for is hoping that it reaches a couple people and they get to hear these stories and and what other people think and it might help them in their day-to-day -day life so other than that guys i hope you have an amazing blessed monday don't let this week kick your ass and i hope to see you soon